Hey, so Monster Bash number two. It's like the first one, but with way, way more friends. We all make cards together with monster bits on them. We build a massive deck and each draw seven cards. Whatever we get, we've got to make a monster of. This time though, instead of me contributing more cards, I asked my friend and collaborator, Elisa, to come up with some of the best cards ever. And while I sculpt a monster, she'll be drawing one. So I randomly drew out these seven cards and unlike everyone else, I feel like mine made the least amount of sense, which might be karma for me making these cards last time. But the vagueness of the cards is totally an opportunity. It's more of a blank canvas situation, I think. Like, this card reminds me of a hard, speckled shell. A spine, I think? Fungus and crystals, maybe? This card is like a mechanical mouth, I guess, which makes everything very interesting with like the nature thing, good contrast. A bee stinger? Maybe I could combine this card with this card to make like a wiry neck. This is a wild card. Uh, interpreting this literally isn't really my style, but it does inspire me to do long, bristly legs. And maybe with some cleaning products, I could sort of make some like fur or something, but we have to start. I have limited time and this spine seems like a pain in the ass to sculpt. So I downloaded a medical model of a spine and I tweaked it to 3D print well. While that was printing, I needed a crab shell and looking around the smoothest crab looking thing I could find was this head of a cougar, which I sort of acquired from my friend Riley. Don't ask. This is thermoplastic, heat it up in water, make a mold, fill that mold with plaster, and then make room for the spine by drilling it out and then realize that idea is dumb and I'm an idiot, and instead sculpt inner channel into the mold and recast it. And now it fits the spine. I have a head from my last project where I made a cultist, and it's been absolutely calling to me to make something awesome from it. So I hacked it up and I figured this could be like the mechanical side of the monster. This could be like a like a metal mask or a porcelain mask or something with robotics behind it. Very Doctor Who. And this is where the narrative really starts coming together. Check this out. This body is the corpse of a giant roaming forest creature. It's been given a second life through the aid of technology and now it wanders the forest as a guardian to protect and mother other critters of the land. In order for my monster to roam, this mother needs legs, which I sculpted in 3D and quickly printed. I sculpted them in 3D because I really need them to hold a lot of weight. I also sculpted it in little ball joints because I wasn't really sure how I was going to pose it. My inspiration here is the Salvador Dali elephants. Really unsettling, but beautiful. Which I don't know if I really can convey, but at least it's gonna look really creepy and fun. You recognize the rocks on the base from my wizard tower build. It's just plaster and molds I made myself. And I used bark chips, which I heated up in the oven to remove any nasties. The wire for its long neck is armature wire. Super easy to work with and I spiced it up a bit by adding some cables in green stuff as well just to get some different textures and sort of like widths and stuff. And I added a cute bony tail. I wanted it to be really small so it's like sort of like a little lamb's tail or something despite the monster being really big I thought that would be sort of funny. To play on the like motherly nurturing theme I really wanted the underside to be rotten and mossy like it's sort of growing its own ecosystem so to get the perfect texture I was looking for I used modeling compound because it's sort of rough and you can shape it I've never used it in this way before but honestly it's pretty cool the modeling compound is paintable in like 20 30 minutes or something so it meant I could keep working fast so for the legs I went out and I bought a broom this is playing on the cleaning products thing from before but also I'm hoping it will sort of of resemble the bottom of the scrubby buddy card that Zan did. These bristles are really really interesting and they sort of look like little plants and I was thinking about uh, for future projects they might make really good basing material like on my more time table. I added mushrooms all over the legs and then it was time for our first reveal call to show off what we've made so far and also so the people who have already finished can gloat and talk about how prepared they are. One of those people was Elisa and she nailed Whoa. it. 
<laughs> Maybe it's my bias for loving Nurgle stuff, but I love the narrative of this piece so much. For me, it's the story of its body being covered in watchful eyes, and yet the eyes on its face are completely gone, scarred over, maybe even removed intentionally. I really want to make this model for my army, so let me know if you want to see that because I'd love to bring Elisa back and we can make some cool stuff. I need to get this moving with painting for my presentation happening the next day, so when in doubt I start with pink and I make it up as I go along and just see where it takes me. This piece has sort of got to end up looking foresty and mossy, so I bring in a lot of earth tones using pigments, which I seal in with a varnish coat later on. Okay, gotta do some quick and dirty basing with a whole bunch of random flocks and ground cover and flowers, really whatever I can find around the garage I quickly shove on there. And honestly, I sort of dig it. I also found some little crystals which I put on the base as like a little secret which I think adds to the magic of the forest. And that's it, I'm done. Have a quick peek and let's chuff off to presentation day number two. Uh, and... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look, here's the deal. Every single person in this project is like one of my favorite people for all sorts of reasons. And honestly, I don't think I've ever been sadder for a project to end. So, um, I would really love it if you watched the videos of all my friends. There's a bunch of them and I've made a playlist and I recommend you just hit shuffle on the playlist and go wherever it takes you because everyone is so brilliant and different and all have amazing things to learn from. So yeah, if you want to try this yourself, we have a link in the description of all the cards. And if you make something, please tag us on Instagram or use hashtag monster bash or whatever. Yeah, we really loved seeing all the stuff that you made with the last set of cards. And now you have like 300 to play with. So yeah, go have fun. Thank you again, everyone. See you next time. Bye.